Hi, hi. How are you today? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Fine, fine? Yes. I'm fine, teacher. Excellent. <clears throat> Ready with your coffee? <laughs> yes. The animals, right? It's a little hot today. A little bit hot. Mm -hmm. Bueno. Let's see how many are we now? Hmm, only six. Ah, where are the others? Mm -hmm. Tell me, how are you? What did you do today? Were you working all day? Yes, yes, yes. Were you working all day long? Good evening. Hello, good evening. How were you? <clears throat> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> a little tired. Yeah, it's Tuesday. <laughs> I think that Wednesday, Wednesday, I consider Wednesday, is the day when I feel the most tired. I don't know. Maybe because I feel that today is past already, but I'm still missing two, well, three more. It's like, uh -huh, we're just in the middle, right? So Tuesday. Wednesday is like one of the largest days. <laughs> well, now, hey, nice. Now we are 10. Let's get ready to start. Tell me present, right? Um, Brian Alexander. Brian? Yeah, no here, Brian. Camilo Ernesto. Camilo. No. Clarissa, Clarissa Maribel, yes, Clarissa. Daniel Eduardo, present. Thanks. David Alexander, David, no. Deborah Stephanie, Deborah, Deborah. Elmer, Antonio. Present. Nice. Eric Gerardo. Present. Nice. Erika Joanna. Present, teacher. You have the name of two of my friends. One is Erika and the other is Joanna. <laughs> really? <laughs> so you have the two. The two together. Let's see, Guillermo Alberto. Guillermo, no. Isaías Santana. Isaías. Presente. Nice. Puedo encender el ventilador aquí. De calor.
Uh, ok, much better. Vamos a ver. I was cooking, that's why I, I am very, very warm right now. Uh, Isaías Santana. Isaías. Yvette Elvira. Yvette. Present teacher. Nice. Carla Vanese. Carla. No here, Carla. Luis Enrique. <coughs> Luis Enrique, no, Manuel Antonio, Manuel, Reina Estela, Rosa Reina, Rosiel, Present Fisher, nice, Vanessa Victoria, Present Miss, hey, great, great, vaya, Fíjense que yo veo varios conectados, pero unos poquitos presents. Vamos a ver, voy a llamar de nuevo la gente que no me dijo present, porque veo 10 conectados. No sé conmigo, pero no he marcado 10 presents, solo he marcado 7. Miss, disculpe, no supo, no le dijeron nada, no aparezco siempre en el listado. No me dijeron nada, fíjense. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, everyone. Hi, hi. Ok. How are you, Luis Enrique? Sí, Lupita. Hi, miss. Tiene que comunicarse con ellos, oye, para, porque realmente no me informaron, no me dijeron nada, ¿verdad? Yo les escribí y me dijeron que, se, que iban a verificar eso ahora. Y no, ¿verdad? Aún estamos en espera. Eh, tiene que comunicarse con ellos. Oye, para que le, le confirmen si sí o si le toca que esperar. Oye. Se supone que ya está, pero no sé por qué no, no le han dicho nada. Porque no, ahora me que, dijeron que sí, es que, que sí. Es que vaya, la, la cuestión es esta. Eh, a mí me dan la lista, ¿verdad? A mí me comparten la lista. Cuando hay alguien que agregar, así que el primer día no aparece en la lista y por cualquier cuestión eh, lo, la actualizan, ya el segundo día a mí me aparece en lista, ¿verdad? Pero, pero no, no, no sé, no sé, okay. ¿verdad? No, no no aparece todavía agregada en la lista. Entonces, habría que ver eh, qué es lo que ellos han, a, han llegado, ¿verdad? La, a, a la conclusión al final. Porque, quiero ver. Sí, el asunto es que me comenta que no le mandaron ellos el link, sino que se lo compartió una compañera y eso no se puede hacer. ¿Verdad? No sé qué. Uh -huh. Sí. Pues vamos a, vamos a, vamos a, a seguir. Escríbale usted a, allí a, a Hazel, ¿verdad? A ver qué le dice. Y que me le actualice a ver que sigan su proceso. Hoy. Yo por mí, okay. bien, pero hay que confirmar con ellos, a ver qué fue lo que, que, a qué conclusión llegaron y en qué grupo es que la han agregado hoy. Bye. I'm going to call again the people who didn't tell me present at the beginning. Brian Alexander. Brian. No problem. Hmm? Oh, okay. Okay. A ver si los logro mirar acá. Right. Okay. 
Okay, Camilo Ernesto. Camilo. No. Clarissa Maribel. Presente. Okay. Daniel ya. David, David Alexander. David Alexander. No. Deborah Stephanie. Deborah. No, Deborah. Guillermo Alberto. Guillermo. No. Isaías Santana. Presente. Y, y Carla Vanessa. Presente. Luis Enrique. Present, Miss. Manuel Antonio. Present, Miss. Nice. Reina Estela. Reina Estela. Ok. No hay. Al menos hoy ya somos. Ok. Very good. Very good, very good. Ya solamente recordándoles lo que les comentaba el día de ayer. Es importante que usted ingrese con su nombre. Let, Manuel, hello, Manuel. Pero ahorita voy a estar como oyente, mis, no llego a casa aún. Vaya, Manuel, Manuel. Gracias. No le había, no le había puesto present. Ah, cómo no. Vaya, pues, ahí lo vamos a acompañar en el viaje entonces. ¿Verdad? Eh, póngase el nombre completo, Clarisa, Carla. Ok, teacher. Quiero okay. ver, Eric, me aparece muy chiquito el nombre, Eric. Rosibel, así se llama, Rosibel. Así está. Sí, Eric. Me le hace falta un nombre. Eh, okay. Carla y Clarisa, perdón. Clarisa, ¿es Clarisa o Clarixa? Es Clarixa. Clarixa, ok. Clarixa. Ok, ok. Bueno. Nice. Nice, nice, Clarixa. Ok, teacher. Ahí se actualiza ahí el nombre. Oye, le da a la par donde está su nombre, le van a aparecer tres puntitos. Y ahí le da la opción de cambiar el nombre para que se puedan poner el nombre completo. Hoy. Bueno. Bueno, bueno. Let's see. Nice. Nice, nice. We are uh, on our second day of class. We are beginning, we can say, by beginning the course. I'm going to share the screen with you. Mm -hmm. Well, today we're going to talk about have. We're going to use have for obligations. That's the topic. Have for obligations. Clarisa, ¿me captó dónde cambiarse el nombre? O sea, me dijo que en un traspuntito alcanzó y que me dijo. Ajá. Y ahí no, no sé. A la par de su nombre. Ubíquese a la par de su nombre. Ahí le va a dar, le va a aparecer tres puntitos. Dele clic. No, en... los participantes. Sí, sí, donde están los participantes. Entonces, cuando usted se ubica ahí en los tres puntitos, eh, le da la opción de cambiar nombre. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces ahí se agrega el resto. Vale, check the objective. Oh. Participants will be able to create a conversation in which they use have and has, have and has to, right? Have to and has to. In a boss, a new employee environment using the target grammar and vocabulary. Okay. Hoy sí, teacher, ya. Yeah. Excelente. Okay. 
So what it means is that we are going to talk about the obligations that you have at work, right? Putting that in other words. And we're going to talk about the obligations that you have in your workplace. And for that, we are going to be using have and have to. Yeah. Have to. I have to. You have to that he has to and she has to. Right? Okay. Let's make a review before uh, before we continue. Let's see these words. You will tell me if they are countable or uncountable. Hmm? According to what we were talking about yesterday. Are these words countable or uncountable? <clears throat> mm -hmm. What do you think? Pages, uh, pages, uh, pages. Uh, pages. Uh, pages. Uh -huh. pages. Lemon. Lemon. Sun is uh, uncountable. Uncountable. Lemons. 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 Trees, countable. Countable. countable, rice, maybe, uncountable, uncountable, uncountable. uncountable. yes, yeah, maybe. because imagine, hey, Luis, do you want to eat some rice? And you say, yes, please, give me 10, <clears throat> 10 oh, rice. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, only rice. remember when you say, uh, uh, cuando es más específico uh, kilogramos o por unidades ahí, sí. exactly exactly mm -hmm. with the rice we can count it if we talk about the pounds right a kilo uh, pound, uh, pound, pound a spoon a cup of rice yeah mm -hmm. uh, like that yes but the rice alone mm -mm. we will mm -hmm. say some only some. only the rice no uh -huh. rice is I want to buy a pound of rice. Perfect. You can buy a pound of rice. Okay. Thanks, me. Or you can say some rice. I want to buy some rice. Okay. What about books? Contable. 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 Yeah. Paper. Uh, okay. Contable. Contable. Uncountable. Uncountable. Yeah, paper is uncountable. Paper. Water. Uncountable. 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 Too. Yes. Yeah. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Air uncountable. Air is uncountable. Mm -hmm. Homework. Um, countable. Countable. Or uncountable. Uh, How much countable. homework? Mm -hmm. How much uh. homework do you have? How much? We don't say how many homework. Right? We say how much homework. Okay. Uncountable. You can say homework assignments. Yeah, homework assignments, you can count. But only the word homework is uncountable. Oil. Alice is uncountable. Oil, uncountable. Uh, furniture. Countable. Uncountable. Yeah, yeah. uncountable. You know, Why? when we talk about furniture, furniture is like traffic, right? You say traffic ah, okay. is okay. not countable, but then you can count the car, you can count the bus, the bicycle, the, the minibuses, but no, the word traffic. The same happens with okay. money, right? You count, you cannot count, well, money is uncountable, but okay, you can miss. count the bills, the coins, the dollars. So the same happens here. 
the word furniture is uncountable, but we can count the sofas, the chairs. We can count. Mm -hmm. A ver, okay. birds. It's birds, countable. Uncountable, uncountable. Yeah, they Pierce, are countable. Pencils. Countable. Mm -hmm. Countable. And milk. Countable. Uncountable. 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 See, milk is uncountable mm -hmm. because all liquids are uncountable, right? We said yesterday liquids and dead animals are uncountable. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Questions here? No questions? Any question, teacher? Perfect. No question. Nice. Any question? Perfect. No question. Let's move then. Today we have a, a conversation chat. We are not going to start with the questions today. Not today. We're going to start with the conversation, right? So we have a conversation between Aaron and Sam, and they are talking about the obligations that they have in their workplace. So that's what we are going to share. Okay, first I'm going to read the conversation, you listen, and then uh, you will repeat after me, okay? Dear material just arrived in the morning, tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. But ask them, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, now let's listen and repeat after me. The new material just arrived in the morning. The new material the new just material in, the morning. in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max Tell that Max he has to store, to store everything. everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have Where to store does he the have to start the boxes? boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Okay. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift. They have to use the lift. That ask until the second round. Until the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, one more time. The new material just arrived in the morning. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Tell Max that, that he, he has to store everything. everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but many boxes, can they use the lift? Okay. okay, but they're very Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask until the secretary first. They have to use the lift, but ask until the secretary first. 
she's going to say they can use it. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Then, then I'm going, I am going to, to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay, great. Any questions here? Uh, please repeat warehouse. I... Warehouse. Warehouse. Where? Where? Warehouse. Where? Warehouse. Warehouse. The warehouse. Do you know what is a warehouse? No? no. A warehouse is a place where the companies keep everything. What is a lift, says Deborah? A lift, well, if you go to those big stores like a Price Mart, EPA, you will see they have a big machine uh, where they put the boxes that are too big and, the box, and they move the boxes. They can transport the box and then they go like this and they put them in the high. Those machines are the lifts. Yeah, that's a lift. What about a warehouse? What is a warehouse? Who can tell me? Hmm? Mm. I don't know. No sé si es igual a data warehouse. La warehouse? Data, data warehouse. The warehouse is sí, in a la... bodega. Ah, una bodega. Eh. Sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. But another meaning for lift is the elevator, right? But in this in this case, because of the because of the how can we say? Because of the context, I would I would say that the lift is a thing that you use for putting things in high, high for moving heavy things and for putting them high. Aquí hay uno en la picture ahí, si es que sí me deja. Vamos a ver si dice, si dice, ah, si dice Zoom está bien, pega la imagen. Sometimes, oh, maybe. Vaya, that's a lift. Check the picture. Bueno. Ahí les puse ah. la picture en el, en el, en el Zoom chat. <coughs> sí. Ay, solo a Manuel se le fue el mensaje. No. Wait a minute. <coughs> Vamos a pegarlo de nuevo. Ahí está. Check. Did you see the picture? That's a lift, right? And a warehouse. A warehouse is a place where you take everything to keep. Uh -huh. That's a warehouse. Look at the second picture. That's a warehouse. That can be a nice warehouse or can be a mess. <laughs> it depends. Right? Remember? A... Last... No, I don't remember. It was last course that we were talking about this. No, no estaban hablando de warehouses last course. No. No. Okay. Bye. You see what is a warehouse? See? No problem, no question. Any other question about the vocabulary? No. Hmm? No. Any um, no, okay, perfect. Uh, teacher, on this repeat, and they say, uh, what they have to do, así se dice, pronuncia. Yes, what they have to do. I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Tell Max and Ivan. Yo les voy a decir lo que tienen que hacer. Right, what they have. I am going to tell. 
Max. I'm going to and tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. And I, and Ivan. Ivan. Así se pronuncia. Sí. Ivan. Ivan. What they have to do. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Welcome. Any question? Any other question here? No questions. Mm -hmm. No? No, teacher. Do you have your manual with you, right? Do you have your manual? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Vaya, perfect. So, here we are on page number 10, no, number 11. Yes, page number 11. So, what you're going to do right now is... What you're going to do right now is go to the mini rooms, you're going to practice the conversation. Yes. Practice the conversation. And then you will complete exercise number three. Yes. Exercise number three. That's what you're going to do. Okay. Practice the conversation, this conversation. And then you do this exercise. You have to choose the correct answer according to the conversation that you will practice. Yes. But I'm going to send you, well, I'm going to make pairs, right? Miss, uh, could you put the last? Uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, okay. uh, yes. Uh, uh, you don't have the manual there, Enrique? Uh, uh, yes, miss, but uh, in the group, uh, we need uh, ¿cómo se dice compartir pantalla? To share. To share. Ah, okay, share. You can share the manual, no problem. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah. I don't have in this uh, tablet. Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. The another. Okay, let me know when you're ready. I'm going to send you in pairs, but remember, if in a moment you feel lonely because your partner is there but it's not talking, call me, okay? You let me know when, you, when you're ready. Ready, ready, let's Enrique. No, Miss, uh, la anterior a esa. Okay, the conversation. Yes. Sí, yes. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to send you in pairs. Let me see. We are not. We are exact pairs. That, and remember, if you feel lonely, because your partner is not talking, call me, okay? That happens sometimes. That, if that happens, you immediately tell me, teacher, I'm alone. Um, who told me I'm not, Manuel, right? Manuel is on the way. Anybody else is on the way right now that cannot speak? If you cannot speak, raise your hand. So I don't send you in, in a that will be alone. Everybody can speak? Yes. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. La computadora es sabia, mire. Me mandó a Manuel en un trío para que no quede solito el compañero. Bye, ahí vamos. Join, please. Join the group. Remember, 
first you practice the conversation and then, then you do the exercise, okay? Practice pronunciation there. Join, please. Join, join. Camilo and Eric try to join. Have to. Jordan in the warehouse. Okay, in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. They Can they use the leaf? I'm oh, sorry. They I'm... have to use the leaf. What they have to do. Excellent. Uh, okay. You be continuous, entonces. I first. Inicio? Sí, please. The new material just arrived in the morning. They tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the leaf, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Avon what they have to do. Okay, sigamos practicando. Si guste, después contestamos las cuatro preguntas. Ahora inicia. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I'm going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. okay. Vaya, eh, el diálogo es de dos, de, de, prácticamente de, de un jefe a, a su subalterno eh, sobre un material que, que llegó algo, si lo entiendo. ¿Cuál Ajá, duda? tengo una duda en la, en la, en la segunda de Sam. Where does he have to store the boxes? Ahí dice eh, donde guardan las cajas o donde compran las cajas. No, eso sería eh, guardar o, eh, prácticamente. Guardar, sí. sí. Por eso este la indicación. Store ah. significa guardar, es, es, es uh -huh. ah, como ver. Ajá, uh -huh. es en, en otro contexto, ¿verdad? Sí, por, por eso le indica de que en el almacén. Ajá, en la en almacén, bodega. No, en la bodega, ajá. ajá. Sí, claro. Sí, eh, a ver. Eh, a, mí, a mí eso a veces me cuesta lo de los contextos. Ajá. Va, en la, 
acá en Max en Ivan have to o has to store boxes, ¿verdad? Ivan Ivan was they have to do. Vaya. Ahora sí. No, Yo soy no, al revés. Ajá, cabal. Ahora usted Aaron. Continue. Okay. Continue. The new material Jones arrive, arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to story every, every time. Every time. Where does he have to store the boxes? Uh, he, um, uh, yeah, I have to store the end in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the leaf? Okay, they have to use the leaf, but until the secretary first. She is going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they have to do. Okay. Vaya, okay. De hora. okay. ¿Quién soy yo? Aaron. Aaron. Okay. Ajá. Y yo soy Sam. Okay, the new materials just arrive in the morning. Tell Max the, that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and I will have to store it in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the lift? They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ivan what they what they have to do. Ahora Clarissa es Aaron y Deborah Sam. Okay. 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 They the new material. Jones arrive in the in the morning. Tell, tell Max that the house to store every day. Where does he have to store the boxes? Hello. Hi. Sorry, I, I have a question. Tim. Vamos a repasar lo de la página 11. The conversation. Conversation. You will practice the conversation and do the exercise number. The number is number three, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Practice the conversation and do exercise three. Perfect. The number three. De lo que dice abajo. Ah, en nombre de ti eh, le da las opciones. En nombre de ti, they give you the options here. So you have to choose what is the correct eh, option. Y eso es de la, de la misma página 11. Do you have the manual, Brian? Creo que sí, eh, no sé si es el que acaban de enviar ahorita. Vaya, the conversation is activity 2, yeah, page 11, right? And then exercise 3. That choose the correct answer between have or has. Don't have or, or doesn't have. Mm -hmm. What is the correct option here? Mm 
According to the obligation, right? Yes, or the Lavamboha. Lo van a lo van a marcar en su manual. Tienen el manual, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes. It is. ¿Mm? Ahí en el manual lo pueden ir marcando. Lo pueden bajar este, y marcarlo en PDF, se puede y se va guardando, ¿verdad? Justamente de la, de la respuesta de la pregunta número tres solo es de marcar cuál es de la dos y la correcta. Ajá, exacto. Just one of the choices. The correct one. Bueno, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Okay, coming, 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 coming. Let's see. I'm going to share the conversation again. And I want a couple of volunteers. Who will be my volunteers to read the conversation? Volunteers. Volunteers, volunteers. Hi. Me, teacher. Okay. Carla and Carla and who else? Uh, Erika. And Erika. Okay, go ahead. Who's Aaron? Who's Sam? I am Aaron. Okay, perfect. Carla, you begin then. The new material just arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes. We're losing you. <laughs> what happened? Okay, can they use the lift? Yes. They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say they can use it. Then I am going to tell Max and Ava what they had to do. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. I need two more volunteers. Two more Me? volunteers. Yes. Me, Rosibel. Who else? Who, wa who was with you, Rosibel? Who was your partner? I don't remember. Um, I don't remember your name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Pregunte ahí, teacher, porque... Yeah, uh, it's no who wants to be my next volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, great. Ahí está. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. He is my... <laughs> okay. Okay, Luis Enrique. Uh, uh, the, new, uh, the, yeah. the new material used arrived in the morning. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Where does he have to store the boxes? 
He and Ivan have to store them in the warehouse. Okay, but there are many boxes and they use the lift. They have to use the lift, but ask and tell the secretary first. She's going to say that I can use it. Then I going to tell Max and Avon what they have to do. Okay, perfect. Very good. Thank you. Now yes. we're going to move to the exercises. P. Number one. Who wants to read? Brian, do you want to read number one? Hard to a store box. Okay. Next, an Ivan. Have to or has to? Has to. Has to. Have. Uh -huh. How many people do I have here? There are two. Max and mm -hmm. Ivan. I have two people, right? So I will say have to. Have to. Only Max has to. Only Ivan has to. But Max have and to. Ivan have, have to. to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Number two. What about number two? Aaron doesn't have to help store the boxes or has to help store the boxes. Have According to. to the conversation, yes, has to. Right? It has to. to help. Oh no. Have to. Yeah. And they have to use the lift, but ask until the secretary first. She's going to say they can use. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Will Aaron help? Check. I don't know. Maybe. No, Merda, so, can no. Yeah. Aaron is like. He's the boss. He's the boss. He's going to say only, why you do it? But he <laughs> won't do it. So we will change it. It is negative. Right? So, mm -mm. Doesn't... Yeah, he's the boss. He's the boss, so he's only going mm. to tell them what to do, but he's not going to help them. Okay. Uh, number three, Sam doesn't have to help, or Sam has to help. Sam has to help, or he doesn't have to help? Does has to help. He doesn't, right? He doesn't have to. He doesn't have to help. He's just going to talk to the secretary and ask her if they can believe to do it. And the rest of the job is for matching. Right? Okay, what about number four? Como? And number four, the secretary have to or has to? Has to. Has to. Has to. Has to. Ah, <laughs> the secretary is one person, right? Yes. The secretary is only Hi. one. Three. So the secretary have to or has to? Has to. Has to. Uh -huh. Has to. Okay. 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 Fine. Vamos a ver. Ok, no questions. No? No question. No, Miss, I have a question. Dígame. En el número 3. ¿Por qué si es una persona? Eh, porque el auxiliar es, es, es das. Utiliza el have. En el caso de Sam, uh -huh. es tercera persona del singular. Uh -huh. cuando tenemos, es el mismo caso de la secretaria. La secretaria es she. Entonces, uh -huh. Cuando usamos la tercera persona uh -huh. del singular, 
el verbo va en, en tercera persona. ¿verdad? En este caso es has to. Y cuando está en negativo, el que se pone en tercera persona ah, es el, el, okay. el, ajá, el, el, ¿cómo se llama? La, el auxiliar. El auxiliar, <ríe> ok. Sí. Eh, Lupita, what's your last name? Méndez, ¿verdad? Yes. Vaya, le voy a escribir acá al joven porque ya no me dijo nada, pero veo que por allá anda, entonces este, lo puedo molestar. Eh, que, sí, Miss, eh, eh, creo que el, ni, esta niña que se llama Claudia, ella me dijo que sí, que siguiera, que no había problema, pero sí, no, no sé pero yo, no necesito, yo necesito que me la agreguen en la lista. Sí, exacto, tendría que aparecer en su lista. Porque ajá, si no, pues a quién van a castigar a mí. Sí. Bueno, entonces necesito de... Ay, no tengo pe, yo soy buena para molestar. Entonces molestaré mucho hasta que me, me den una respuesta. Pero... Muy gracias, Miss. <ríe> para esta, no sé, pero... Miss, solo Mira. una cosa. Entonces, sí. el hecho de ser negativo lo, ya no modifica el verbo, ¿verdad? Si es positivo, Exacto. entonces lo modifica. Vale, le voy a compartir una página acá. En resumen, Miss, ¿cuándo usar has to y cuándo usar have to? Vaya, vaya. Vamos a poner una página. Una... Vaya, cheque. When we use... Eh... Vaya, vamos a hablar acá. Vamos a meter texto. Vaya, chequen. Hablamos de las personas, eh, primera persona, ¿verdad? De first person. First person del singular. Tenemos también a second person. Vamos a primero con esto. Third person. Y después vamos con los plurals. We have first person, plural. A second person, plural. And the third person, plural. Pues ya teniendo esta división, voy a hacer más bien. Sí, ya la veo bien. <laughs> But my first person is I. Right? That's I. Yes. The second person is? You. You. Acuerden que you es singular y también es you plural, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Tenemos you singular y you plural. Ahora, mi tercera persona no es solo una. Y vamos a tener he... She, it. it. Y la tercera persona del plural que es they. They. Está ahí, they. La, prim la primera persona del plural mm -hmm. es we. we, porque está otro y yo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, we are included, I am included, mira. So you say, I. Ahora, cuando yo voy a utilizar esta tercera persona en presente, yo le tengo que agregar ese al verbo solamente con la tercera persona, con los demás no, ¿verdad? Al verbo le agrego ese si mi oración es afirmativa y cambio el auxiliar a dasen si estoy usando el negativo o question. Entonces yo digo, I, como bueno, ahorita nos vamos a concentrar en el have, pero es, el, el have es, es un auxiliar, ¿verdad? ¿Perdón? No 
no sé quién está hablando como robotito. Está hablando un robotito. ¿Verdad? Vete por allá, se oye bien lejos. Vaya, check it. So we say, I have to, porque estamos usando el have, ¿verdad? I have to do the homework. Talking about obligation. I have to do the homework. I have to clean the house. Talking about have to, recuerden que have to es para hablar de obligation, ¿verdad? But then you say, you have to clean the house. Okay? You have to clean the house. I have to. En este caso estoy hablando de una obligation. Yo ya tengo el have to. Mi otro verbo va en forma normal, forma base, ¿verdad? Porque con los modals, en este caso, el, el, el have to no es un verbo, este es un modal, ¿verdad? Es un modal. Es un modal que yo ocupo para hablar de obligation. Entonces, yo digo, I have to clean. I have to do the homework. Si yo usara Ken, si se fijan en la conversación, cuando le dijo, as the secretary, if you can use the lift, she will say, you can. Entonces, you can use. No dice, you can to use, ¿verdad? Porque con el modal yo ocupo la forma base del verbo. Aquí el to ya es parte del have. Es have to. Entonces solamente agrego el otro verbo en la forma base, sin conjugar, independientemente de si yo estoy usando la tercera persona. Aquí yo voy a decir, she has to clean the house. She has to. She has to. O podemos cambiar. She has to. Um, no, the floor. ¿Qué significa mo? Trapear. Sí, muy bien. En el Ministerio de Obras Públicas. Trapear. Ministerio de Obras Públicas. Ministerio de Obras Públicas. Ya me dio risa, Ticha. Sí, acá sí es el Ministerio de Obras Públicas. So you say, she has to mop the floor. She has to mop the floor. ¿Qué cambió? Esto. El has, que es el, el, verbo, to, el verbo to be. Ex, eh, no, ese no es el verbo to be. El has to ¿Sí? es un modal. Es un modal ¿Qué? auxiliary. Es modal un, auxiliary. El has modal to. Modal auxiliary, sí. Es un modal auxiliary que significa obligation. Da siempre va a ser obligation. Ya lo vamos a ver en negative y van a ver que si lo usamos en, en negative, significa que no hay obligation. No hay. Por ejemplo, if I tell you, you don't have to wear a uniform. No obligation. You don't have the obligation to wear a uniform, not to class. Uh, you don't have to, to stay in class until 11 p.m. Right? You don't have to. It's not an obligation. Right? But you have to complete the platform. You have to attend all classes. You have to participate. And you have to... Okay. You have to participate. Yes. <laughs> what else do you have to do here? Huh? What else? I told you, you have to complete the platform. You have to open the camera. Oh, teacher. You have to attend no classes. And you have to participate actively. It's just, it's have to, verdad? And then you say, 
Ajá. Y Clarisa, what does she have to do? What does she have to do? Ya vamos a ver las questions. Oye, what does she what? have to do? That's talking about obligation. But just let's finish here. Let's finish here when we're talking about obligation in affirmative. I said, if I have he, she, it, yes, has. She, yes, he, she has. She, it, has. Pero, we go back to we, they will say we have. We have to. We have to attend classes. Yes. We have to attend classes. Mire mi muda. We have to. Yes. We have to attend classes. You have to. ¿Se acuerdan? Este es el you plural, ¿verdad? Pero igual no hay cambio en este caso. So you say you have to, to study a lot. You have to start. Again, el verbo nos queda en la forma pasada, right? No change. No change. And the third person, they have to um, work late. They have to work late. What do they have to do? Oh, well, they have to work late. Entonces, con la única persona que cambia es con la tercera, ¿verdad? Solamente con la tercera persona, y ahí le vamos a agregar, vamos a ocupar has to en vez de have to. Yes. Any questions? Yes, solo para la he y she y it se les agrega el has to. Exactly. Ah, ok. Okay. Los demás vamos a usar. Ah. Any question here? No question. No question. Okay. 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 Now look at this. No question, teacher. Excellent. No question. Vaya, tenemos have. Aquí hay un error. Corríjanlo, por favor. Porque tiene que ser have to. Si yo solo digo have, no es obligation. Have a possession. ¿Sí? Si yo digo, por ejemplo, I have a cat, that's possession. Entonces, agréguenle, no es have, es have to. ¿Verdad? Have to. Have to is obligation, because we're talking about obligations. Entonces, tiene que ser have to. Have to for obligations. No solo have, have is possession. En algún otro momento, ustedes van a ocupar have to. Pero si usted solo ocupa have seguido de un noun, eso es possession, eso no es obligation, ¿ok? Entonces, tienen que tener cuidado que siempre que estamos hablando de obligation, el have va seguido del to. ¿Sí? Then you say, well, I have to store the packages. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer decíamos que el store es, es un verbo? Guardar. Pero guardar, ¿verdad? I have to store the packages. I don't have to store the packages. Negative. I don't have to, right? I store. have to store the packages. It's not necessary. It's not obligation. This is lo que nosotros llamamos lack of obligation. Fíjense, hay otros modos que, bueno, para obligation solo se puede ocupar en, en afirmativo. Cuando usted quiere expresar prohibición, lo que hace es ocupar el can't. Can't. Por ejemplo, if, if somebody says, you can't enter. In that case, está hablando de prohibición. 
¿verdad? You can't enter. You can't swim in this space or in this swimming pool. You can't swim. Prohibition. Pero en el caso de have to, si yo ocupo el have to en negative, lo que sucede es que se da una lack of obligation. ¿Qué significa lack? ¿Mm? ¿Qué es lack? ¿Quién sabe? No es algo como llave. No, ese es lock. No. Lock. Lack es falta. Falta. Falta de obligación. No obligation. Right? So, if I use it in negative, there is no obligation. You say, they don't have to take everything to the warehouse. No, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. They don't have to do it. We don't have to ask for permission. Do we have to ask for permission? No, you don't have to ask for permission. It's not an obligation to ask for permission. The truck driver that we have to. Uy, miren, que horror. Ay, universidad, ¿qué hizo? Bueno, este, este, <ríe> en el tercero me encontré tantos errores como ya llevamos varios acá. Hagan, por favor, las correcciones. A ver, a ver. ¿Por qué tiene que ser? Eso es imposible decir das en hasta. Hasta duele leernos, es que no, no, no. Okay. Hágale la corrección que tiene que decir the truck driver doesn't have to. Doesn't have to bring the materials. He doesn't have to use the list. Ok. Así es que, please, manche su manual, corrija los horrores que no puede ser. ¿Verdad? Entonces, you say the truck driver doesn't have. To. Siempre, recuerde, en negative, vamos a cambiar en la tercera persona, cambiamos el don't a doesn't. ¿Verdad? Ese es el único cambio. El don't a doesn't y el verbo queda en forma. Bus. Mm -hmm. So you say, I have a dog. She doesn't have a dog. Si fuera hablar de possession. I don't live in Santa Ana. She doesn't live in San Miguel. Doesn't live. El verbo va a ir siempre en forma bus. Y aquí, que aunque estemos usando el have to, ¿verdad? Que es el modal para obligation. She doesn't have to. No puedo decir she doesn't No sé por qué Insafor sigue con estos manuales. Si en el 2016 ya señalamos los errores. Va. Okay. Questions? No questions? No? No questions? No, teacher. <laughs> no, ¿verdad? No. no, miss. No, teacher. Okay, check it. Affirmative. We say they have to. They have to take everything to the warehouse. We have to ask for permission. The truck driver has to bring the material, and he has to use the lift. Yes. They so always. Acuérdese, el truck driver puede ser he o puede ser she. Está la Lola, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan? <laughs> so, it can be a he or a she. So, you have to use the verb in the, uh, in this case, the modal verb in the third person. She has to, she has to, it has to. ¿Cuándo usamos it? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuándo usamos it? Con animales o cosas. Cosas, animales o cosas. Animales que no son mis mascotas. Okay. Oh. ¿Mm? O sea, mi mascota es chip. 
Ah, she and me. Mi mascota okay. es he o she. I have two cats. They are very friendly. So la chiqui, chiqui is the name of one of the cats. She is very playful. Right? She. Me refiero a mi mascota como she. Ya, si vaya right. un gato que está por allá en la calle es it. But if it is mine, she. Cat the other people is it. Sí, porque no, no, como no sabemos si es niño o niña, ¿verdad? <laughs> Then we say it. That if we know that they, uh, if it is my pet, I will use he. Okay. Vaya, moving. Let's see, have to. We use have to to express obligation, okay? To express obligation when something is necessary. We have to travel tomorrow. Check it. Por eso que dice in present or future. We have to travel tomorrow. When? Tomorrow. But I'm expressing obligation for tomorrow, for the future. I have to wash the dishes after class. Ah, future, because it's after class, right? So that's future. I have to be awake until the end of the class. Ah, present. Sí. No me debo dormir, ¿verdad? I, I should not sleep. Check it. Que yo digo, I should not. No digo, I don't have to. ¿Por qué? ¿Ah? Why I don't say I don't have to sleep during the class? Why? Because if I use don't have to, that is lack of obligation. O sea, ya no hay obligation. Right? ¿Sí? So, I say you shouldn't. I, I shouldn't sleep. Now, check this. Some examples. The boys, como boys es plural, yo voy a usar have to. The boys have to study hard. The boy has to study hard. Or the boy has to wake up at seven in the morning. If I say the boys have to, but the boy has to, right? Because this is in plural, I use have to, that's my model for plural. And the boy is only one, it's like saying he, then you use has to for the person singular, right? Okay, look at the other examples. Pedro has to wash the car. The children, acuérdense que singular child and plural children, ¿verdad? So we say the children have <laughs> to do the homework. John has to work all day. John has to work. He has to wake up early. He has to wake up. They have to study. Okay? They have to study. Now I'm moving. Check. Check the structure. Okay? El subject, que puede ser I, you, we, they, seguido por have to, en el caso de I, you, we, they, o por has to, in the case of he, she, it. Then, the verb, an complement, right? She has to clean the house. He has to erase the board. Yeah? You have to arrive on time. Yeah, you have to mean the verb and all this is my complement. Okay. She has to. She has to brush her teeth. She has to brush my verb. Yeah, the verb. 
And then the last part is the complement. Para hacer una, una oración completa. ¿verdad? Porque no puedo decir only she has to brush. ¿Qué? The floor. The bathroom. Your teeth. Your hair. ¿Qué? Right? So I need to give a complete idea what I want to see. Now, what happens in the negative sentence? We use negative, we don't have to, or doesn't have to, to express absence of obligation. Check, that's to express absence of obligation when something is not necessary. If something is not necessary to do, I use negative. We don't is have what is absence. Absence, no obligation. There is no obligation. Mm -hmm. So if I say, I don't have to wear a uniform to teach this class, right? That I have to dress uh, formal, a little formal, right? That I don't have to, okay. I don't have to memorize the names. I don't have to memorize the names, like in a presential class, that I have to memorize the names of the students because they don't have the name here, right? But in your case, I can see the names, so I don't have to memorize them. It's not necessary. That is not necessary to do, right? I don't have to memorize the names because I can see them here, so it's not necessary to memorize them. In the case of a presential class, I have to memorize the names. Pregúntenme cuánto me puedo, no mucho. <laughs> Media aula. Okay, so I, but there I have to memorize them because if no, I don't know who's who, right? Now check the examples. The children don't have to go to school. Is it necessary to go to school? No, because it is Saturday. Yes, the children don't have to go to school today. It's Saturday. It's not necessary to go to school on Saturday. She doesn't have to eat all fruits. No, it's not necessary. It's must me. <laughs> right, don't need all of them. I don't have to wear a uniform. Do I have to wear a uniform? No. It's not necessary for me to wear a uniform. I don't have to check emails. Do you have to check emails in your workplace? Hmm? Do you have to check emails? Yes, yes. or no? Yes, Miss. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Um, Mila Lupita. Si me acaba hablando de check emails, what I have to check is uh, the messages, right? Dice el jefe que trató de comunicarse con usted el día de hoy, pero sin éxito. Mm, no le dijo qué horas. No, no me dijo a qué horas. Así que mañana tal vez puede estar un poquito pendiente. Pero no, no me ha llamado nadie. Mm. La cosa es que le ha llamado, eh, Jorge no ha estado llamando, es eh, verdad, eh, él recién a, como que acaba de, de, de estar más en contacto con, con todos. Entonces, eh, chequen, ahí si le aparece una llamada de alguien que no conoce, es eh, Jorge. <ríe> no le va a escribir Hazel, no le va a escribir. Este... No, Miss, no tengo nada. ¿Llamada? ¿Será que su número no está bien? Es el 72590559. ¿Puede comentarle, por favor? Vaya, 72 59 ¿A qué horas le conviene que le llamen? A cualquier hora, no importa. Ok, perfecto. 72590559, ¿vale? Uh -huh. Perfecto. Vale, ya se lo puse. 
Vaya. Yes. Okay, so check. I don't have to attend meetings on Sundays. Well, sometimes I have to, right? Sometimes I have to. Now I have to. But in the past, I didn't have to, right? My boss doesn't have to clean the office. Somebody else does it for her, right? She doesn't have to clean the office. Somebody else cleans the office. Now, check what happens with the negative. So I have the subject, the auxiliary, the model writing negative, don't have to, doesn't have to. Then the verb and the complement, of course. So you say we don't have to get up early on Sundays. Oh, she, he doesn't have to get up early on Sundays. Does he have to get up early on Sundays? No, he doesn't have to. It's not necessary for him to get up later or to get up early on Sundays. Do you have to get up early on Sundays? Yes or no? No, miss. No, right. No, 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 no on Sundays. <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, Sometimes on Sundays I get up at five thirty, at six. I don't know why. It's just that I wake up like like a clock, or my cat gets there to say meow, and I get up at six, and it's like that. Why? I get up, come, prepare breakfast, eat something, and go back to sleep for two more hours because it's too early. Waking up at six in, on Sundays is too early. Right? So we go to church late. So it was necessary to get up too early. Okay. But on the weekdays, we have to get up early. Right? A ver. In this part, remember the exercise you, had, you did? We said Max and I then have to be that. Have oh. because we have two people. Aaron doesn't have to because we said he is the boss so he doesn't have to help Sam doesn't have porque no puedo decir doesn't has that's not possible the secretary okay have to has to ah, has to has to yeah, the secretary has to say that they can use the meat a ver now, what about you? What do you have to do in your workplace? Hmm? What do you have to do? I have to check a lot of papers. I have to make exams. I have to elaborate evaluations. I have to prepare classes. I have to laugh a lot with my students. Yeah. Okay. So what about you? What do you have to do? Hmm? What do you have to do? I had to check email. You had to check emails, Erica? Okay. Manuel, what do I you have, have to, to do? Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I have to make reports. You have to make reports. Okay. Uh -huh. I have to answer the call. You have to answer the phone. Mm -hmm. Let's see, anybody else? What else do you have to do? I open and close the office. You have to open and close the office. Okay. So you have to be the first. I the have to, I have to check production. You have to check the production, okay? Yes, somebody I have has. a meet. You have to? I have a meet. You have to meet people. You have to meet people. Uh -huh. You have to meet people, okay? I have to, I have to check uh, quality. Quality. So you are in charge of quality control. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I have I have to information. To look for information? Um, mm -hmm. um I have mm, I have to um, information um a classmate. A class the class, perdón. 
A los clientes, le doy información a los clientes. You have ayudar. to give information. Uh -huh. You have to, to provide. Give. We will say better provide. We ha you have uh -huh. to provide information to customers. Information, uh -huh. to customers. Co course, to course. Customers. Customers. Sí. Customers. You have sí. to provide information to customers. Uh -huh. You have to, to provide uh -huh. information, information to customers. Costumes. Ok. A ver, a ver. Who else? Who else? Who else? A ver, Elvira. Elvira, ¿verdad? Y ver, Elvira. Yes. Okay. I have to call for telephone. You have to talk on the phone. To call, to call phones. You have to talk, call call phone. talk. Uh -huh. you have to talk on the phone. On. Fíjese que on the phone. Así se dice. <laughs> ¿Verdad? On. You talk on the phone. Nosotros decimos hablar por teléfono en español, right? No hablar en el teléfono, mm -hmm. pero... Pero in English, it is talk on the phone. You talk on the phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. You have to talk on the phone. A ver, Rosy. What do you have to do? I have to package knives. You have to? Package knives. Espérame, no le capto. Um, package. 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 Pack. You have to package what? Uh, knives. Knives? Cuchillos? Yes. Oh, okay. Cor, cor. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> También. <laughs> yes. Do you work in a store? Eh... No, in the, in the, um, a hotel. No, no, es este, en la casa, actually. And you sell knives. Yes. Okay. Ahí se fabrica. Oh, mire qué galán. Okay, so you have to pack them. You have to pack knife. Knife. Okay. Good, good. Let's see, Daniel Eduardo. What do you have to do in your workplace? I have to repair the equipment. I have to test the equipment. Okay, nice, nice. Rain Stella, what do you have to do? Um, in my work, I had um, play classmate class, and you're a student. Are you a teacher right now? Yes, yes. Okay. Kindergarten. Um, no. No. That, that's it. That's it. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Primary school. Mm -hmm. So you have to prepare classes. Oh, kindergarten is a different word, totally. My respect to kindergarten teachers. It's not. It's not. <laughs> you should have lots of energy to work with kindergarten, definitely. Okay, what else do you have to do? No more, Reina? Sorry, teacher. And repeat me. Anything else? What else do you have to do? Okay, let's see, Deborah. Deborah, Stephanie, what do you have to do, Deborah? Um, Sometimes I have to do the inventory and 
suddenly uh, we have to to make a report. Yeah, to make reports. Okay, nice, nice. nice. Ando por aquí vigilando quiénes se me fugan y se me esconden. A ver, Vanessa Victoria. What do you have to do, Vanessa? Uh, in my work, I have to answer calls. Okay. Uh, and emails. You have to answer calls and answer emails. Okay. See. Nice. I, I have prepared reports. Okay. You have to prepare reports too. Brian, Alexander, what do you have to do? I have to Can you repeat that? You have to I have I have to Okay. You have a, what, what do you do? What's your job? I have to clean clean. Clean? Ah, so okay. Okay, thank you. Erica, what do you have to do, Erica? In my work, I had to check email. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I had to answer call. Perfect. Let's see, Isaias, what do you have to do? What do you have to do? I have a sleep. Se durmió Isaias. No, I have a sleep. Ah, you have to sleep. Yeah. De, de ah, mire que vaina. <laughs> de qué trabaja. Eh, de reparto, no, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, okay, you deliver. deliver. Ah, deliver. You deliver. No, deliver. Reparto pero de mercadería, sí. Ajá, pero you deliver. Uh -huh. To the stores. Right? the stores. Okay. 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 So you say I have to deliver things to the stores. Nice. Eric, Gerardo, you're the last one. Daniel, ya le pregunté. Yes, teacher. Ah, va. Okay. Eric? Yeah. I have to chat, chat emails and, and also... Um, uh, to report to reporting in Excel. Okay. okay. Nice. Very good. So you see. Now, check this. In this sentence, you're going to put into practice what you have been telling me, right? Uh, complete the sentences. Complete the following sentences using the correct formal have to and the words that you see there in parentheses. Remember, when it says the correct formal have to, significa que puede usar have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to, depending on the case. Okay? Bye. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it. And then we check.
Please excuse me. For the number two, I don't know the meaning of you love. One until. Now the sec the second one, in in parentheses. Containers or pile. No. Pile up. Vaya pile up. For example, cuando usted tiene si decimos containers, yo me imagino unas cajotas así ven grandes que tienen tapadera y pile up sería poner una sobre otra y otra y otra y otra y otra. Eso es pile up. What people do with the boxes too, right? That you put, you put one box, another box, another box, another box. Como la picture de la warehouse que les compartí. You see the boxes are pile up. Está una sobre otra. Yeah, that's pile up. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Let me know when you finish. Let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? A ver, the company. The company have to buy new material. Mm -hmm. Yes. The company has to buy new material. Okay. Number two, your partners. Maybe does and. Okay. Uh, affirmative. Affirmative. Okay. Uh, have to. Have to. Sí, have to porque tenemos partners en plural. Uh, plural. Uh -huh. Partners have to. Pile up containers. No, What is pile up? Pile up, poner uno sobre otro, como apilar. Ajá. Como amontonar o apilar. Sí. Uh -huh. okay. Agents. Este es negativo. Don't have to. Don't have to qué? Don't have to sign. Don't have to sign the letter. Sí. The agents don't have to sign the letter. Nice. Mr. Bonilla has to design new models. Yes. Mr. Bonilla has to design a new model. Very good. Oh, design new models. Employee. It's okay. The group. The group That's don't it. have to work until late. Okay, the group, le vamos a poner doesn't. 
Doesn't, doesn't, I'm sorry. Porque the group is considered singular. Mm -hmm. yes. The group doesn't have to work. Any question there? No question? No, 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 no. Okay. Well, in the last 15 minutes, we're going to create a conversation with a partner. Imagine one of you is new there. So you have to give instructions about how some things have to be done. Hello. Hello, uh, Deborah, welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to, y ahí agregan unas tres actividades, right, that you have to do. First, you have to check the email and respond to, to customers. Then you have to prepare the cooking. Or, no, the cooking has to be the first thing, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, where do I have to prepare the coffee? In the kitchen, right? Or in the office next door. There is a, a, a coffee pot there. Then you have to bring the coffee to each of the offices. Okay, for example. So I'm going to send you, uh, you work in pairs and prepare the conversation and be ready to chew. Let's see. Una, Ani. Teacher, disculpe que la interrumpa. Tell me, Clarissa. Okay. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Sí. Clarissa. Clarissa. Con respecto a lo que estaba explicando, me oí. Sí. Ah, es... Ok. No es eh, con respecto a lo de has to, para, para personas de tercera persona siempre se les agrega el has to, ¿verdad? El has. Sí, sí. En las sí. oraciones. Sí. Ok. Ok. Yo había puesto un ejemplo de Mr. Bonilla. Ajá, exacto. Mr. Bonilla has to. Uh -huh. Ok, sí. Vaya, lo había hecho, sí. Yo A ver, room number four. Let's see, let's see. Try to join, check and por ahí les aparecen los rooms. Try to join, try to join. Chequen si les aparece un telefonito llamando. Eric, Reina, Estela, Clarissa. Reina, moving you. Teacher, yo tengo pro, eh, problemas con la conexión. Eh, me saca, de verdad. No lo deja unir, sí. Clarisa, cheque. Si no se quedan, Clarisa y Eric se pueden quedar aquí. Oye, no problem. Ok. You can practice here with Clarisa, Eric. <coughs> ¿En cuál página? Quiero ver. No, ¿está en cuál? Uh, oh, acá está en la número... Eh, ¿En qué número? ¿Qué? En la número 12. En la 12. Hello, Vanessa, welcome. Hola. Hi. Hola, How are you? Here the list of activities, dice. Uh -huh, you have to do first you have to you have to do 
Ajá, y ustedes completan las ideas, ¿verdad? It's my breakfast. Yes. Yes. How much? You have to. How are you? Never bought. I had. Uh -uh. <laughs> the list of activities. You had to do yeah. first. First, you have eat my breakfast. Oh. Breakfast. Oh, okay. okay. Um, love it. Word to I had to. Where do I have to? I had to. I left a problem. In my house. ¿Dónde dice va? ¿Dónde? Where is dónde? No, when. Ay, eso siempre me confunde. Where. Quiero ver. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Ajá, where, dónde. In my house. I have to my house. Después, yes. in the... Eh, eso es sobre Bien. la... Sí, wow. ¿verdad? Espérenme, voy a ver. There you have to... In the... En él es, en él. Eh, uh -huh, en él dice. Ajá, uh, en él. Digamos que si no digo, ah, bueno, con. ¿Dónde? En my house. Entonces, o sea, es eh, la respuesta, por ejemplo, si dice, eh, you have to uh, make the coffee. Por ejemplo, y a la vez dice, ok, where do I have to make the coffee? Me pregunta. Uh, y ahí está el espacio, quizás sería in the... the office. Excuse me? In the office. In the office o in the kitchen. No, no sé si todas las... Me dice una pregunta en la última eh, participación de la letra A. Dice in the... Y el espacio, ahí se pone eh, eh, el lugar físico de la empresa donde se realiza. A, a donde, tira. por ejemplo, eh, si se acuerda, ellos tenían que guardar las cosas in the warehouse. Ah, Ajá, okay. entonces pues, le puede decir in the office o in the cafeteria of the company. Uh -huh. In the patio, no sé, ahí en un, un <ríe> área de la empresa, ¿verdad? Mm. Ok, gracias. Gracias. Bueno, entonces, eh, démosle forma y lo practicamos. Uh -huh. Miss, okay. eh, entonces, eh, ya cuando responde eh, la persona de la letra B, sería, ok, where do I have to? Y serían las actividades que menciona. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Okay. Por ejemplo, si le dijo, eh, you have to prepare some coffee, where do I have to prepare the coffee? Entonces le dice, in the, in the office next door, there is a, a coffee pot. You can prepare it there. And then you have to take the coffee to the office. Or to my office. Right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. And the office, then you have to... miraba fácil bueno está fácil pero que, sí, está que, fácil. Hay, que, hay que hay que armarla bien ¿verdad? sí es que le pide prácticamente son tres actividades no quiero ver dos verdad dos o tres uh -huh. Uh -huh. sí para no alargarlo mucho sí pero si no lo quisiera alargar como lo finalizo en the topic next eh, then Then, sí, no, entonces le dice, vaya, then you have to take it to the office. 
Entonces ella le responde, ok, sir. Y ya. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Bueno, practiquemos. Ok. Uh, desktop, need you have to. In the desktop, then you have in, to. In the desktop. The desktop. Teacher, uh, it is saying to say customer service, como atender al cliente también, o to, to, to serve a customer. No, customer service. Uh -huh. I, I am in charge of the customer service. You have to attend customers. For example, cuando va a usar ya, you have to. You have to attend, uh, to attend customers. Uh -huh. <laughs> You have to attend customers. Mm -hmm. So, que sería? To do first, you have to check the emails. Second, you have to attend the customer. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué otro habíamos dicho? Um, you check email. You have to check emails. You have you have to check mails. Okay, okay. Where do I have to check mails? You have to check uh -huh. where do I have to check the mails? Uh -huh. do, uh -huh. do I have you no this I have to Where do I have to um, um, check it, mail? Y ahí le pregunta, yeah. where do I have to check the emails? Uh -huh. where, where do you have to check mail? ¿A dónde, como que a dónde, verdad? ¿A dónde quieres que se revisar tus... tus... In the desktop. Tus, tus correos. In the, in, on, the, on the computer. In the computer. In the computer. Yeah. Then in you the, have to. In the computer. In the computer. In the computer. Uh -huh. Para no complicarse, ¿está? Okay. In the computer, then you have to. Uh -huh. Then you have to. Vale, si quieren hagámoslo nuevamente, una, Ajá. una, una, una. Inténtelo ustedes dos. Vale, empecemos, démosle Hello. a nosotros. Lo único que en la, en la otra, en la literal, o oh, la tercera, no la entendí, no sé qué significa o qué, qué, o qué vamos a hacer ahí. Okay. In the, then you have to. Hi, Miss. Hi. En la... En el... Letter A. En la tercera. Sí, la tercera. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en esa? No lo entendí. Vale, regresase ahí. Vale. En la parte número 6, ¿verdad? Donde dice, hello. Hello, Manuel. Welcome. Hi. Dice, Hi, how are you? How are you? Y le contesta a Isaías, good, I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you have to, y le da la primera actividad que tiene que hacer. Ok. Y pregunta a Manuel, okay. mm -hmm. where, do, you have where to... do I have to, y dice la misma actividad que le acaban de decir que haga, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces le dice, ah, in the, in the office o in the where. Ah, Él le dice okay. el lugar donde tiene que hacerlo. Y después le dice, and then you have to, y le dice otra actividad que tiene que hacer. Ok. Uh -huh. Así de fácil. <ríe> Así de fácil. <ríe> Prácticamente solo dos actividades le pide, ¿verdad? Sí.
Eh, ok. Démosle, Isaías. Démosle, pues. Hello, Isaías. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good. I have here the list of activity you have to do. First, you have to break fast with customer. Okay, where do, uh, do I have to break, break fast customer? Uh, break fast <laughs> with customer in the hotel. Then, you have to attend a meeting. Voy a hacerlo con... ¿Quién es el otro que está con nosotros? Brian. Brian. Hacer la misma, la misma conversación que hicimos ahorita con él. Hello, Brian. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Good, have, good I have heard the list. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes, teacher. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish. Yes. We will listen to just one balloon, one pair of volunteers before we call attendance. Who will be my volunteers? One. One, one. Ah, a ver, Reina, deme un número del uno al, al siete. No, al seis. Um, one, cinco. two, three. Five. Number six, vaya Daniel, Erika y Reina Estela. Ah, vaya, mire, ve que Galán me dio el suyo. Va. Okay. <laughs> okay, vaya. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Who begins? <laughs> Suerte la mía. Ya ves. Ya ves, ya ves. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Me. Hello, Reina. Welcome. Um, yo no tengo el, el... No estoy viendo ahorita nada. Ya se lo comparto. No problem. No Gracias. problem. Vaya. Ok. Va. Hi. How are you? Good. I have here the list of activities you have to do. First, you had to send email. Then you had to, to call clients and you had to you had to meet him. Um okay. Where do you where do I have to call clients, send email and have a meeting? In the office. Then you had to make a report. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Great. great. Yeah, bien. Está fácil. Vaya, vamos a ver. Check in attendance. Brian Alexander. Brian? Okay. Camilo Ernesto? Camilo, Clarissa, Maribel. Remember to tell me present. No me levante la mano que no los veo. ¿Verdad? Tell me present. Eh, Clarissa. Clarissa, hello. Ya se me fueron a dormir. Ah, ¿Dónde están? Tarde. Ah, ya, tarde. Ya es hora de dormir, ¿verdad? Mire. Vaya, pues, vamos. Que... Pero es que, espérenme, tengo que abrir el manual. Es el manual, lo voy a abrir que lo tengo para contestar. No, ah, 
No me está puedes pasando decir, lista, está Clarín. Pasando lista. No me puedes decir present sin el manual. Ah, ok. Present. Daniel Hernández. Present teacher. Present okay. teacher, disculpe. Daniel. Present teacher. David. David Alexander, no, ¿verdad? Débora. Es que yo creo que por eso no me contestó Camilo, porque dijo, yo no quiero decir la conversación. Atendas, Camilo. Elmer Antonio. Elmer. No here. Eric Gerardo. Present teacher. Okay. Erika Choana. Present teacher. Nice. Guillermo Alberto. Isaías Santana. Gracias, Y ver Erika. No, Elvira. Y ver Elvira. Hola. Ya fueron. Uy. Estoy otra flechita. Uy, sí. Um, Carla Vanessa. Present. Nice, Carla Vanessa. Eh, Luis Enrique. I hear Miss. <laughs> nice. Manuel Antonio. Present, Miss. Great. Eh, Reina. Reina. Present, teacher. Eh, Rosibel Hernández. Rosy. Present, Miss. Ok, Vanessa, Victoria. Present, Miss. Excelente. Ah, muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Right. Now, eh, le toca quedarse a Camilo. No sé si Camilo te va a ir. Five minutes, Camilo. Well, see you tomorrow. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. 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 No puedo salir, teacher, sáqueme, por favor. <ríe> Yo dije, se quiere quedar conmigo. <ríe> nadie se quedó. No, nadie se quedó, mire, Camilo se escapó. Ay, teacher. Yo pues no... yo, me... Ah, yo me quedo, quiere, y ahí, aunque después me vuelva a tocar, porque ah, puede bueno. haber un tema de que, de que me pueda acostar. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. A ver, Rosy. Do you have any questions? Mm, fíjese de que sí, sí logré entender el, el has to y el have to. Uh -huh. Lo único de que, y este para, para refrescar el negativo, uh -huh. que ya no, no logré tomar el screenshot a la. A la ah, a ya la se lo comparto, pero. No, eh, si sí tengo la regla. Lo que no tuve, lo que no hice fueron los ejemplos. Este. Esta es la regla. ¿Está? Ah, pues no, no es este. Este. Este fue el que no. Este, que no lo voy a captar. Ajá. Eh, ahí sería. Como siempre, en la tercera persona, siempre Vamos, sería ya, el has. Sí. Ajá, pero sin cambiar el has ni el have. Ajá, exacto. Lo que va a cambiar aquí es la auxiliar, ¿verdad? Ajá, la auxiliar. Sí, sí, sí. El have to sí, sigue igual. Que siempre en el, el tercera persona es das y en los demás. Es, en los demás. Es, ¿no? entonces. Uh -huh. Ajá, exacto. Ajá. Y, y el have to eso... sigue igual. Ajá. Va, eh, lo otro es este no sé cómo con lo de los contextos 
en la conversación que estábamos viendo, eh, estaba, estaba viendo yo de que lo, de la, lo del contexto a veces es, es parte de lo que, como le dije, el store allí llevaba el contexto de bodega. Ajá, aquí no es tienda, sino que guardar, es ver. Ah, ajá, y entonces guardar. Vaya, y para identificarlo, ¿cómo lo hago? Vaya, por ejemplo, si dice I have, vamos a buscar en afirmativa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I have to, ah, por ejemplo, si usted dice Pedro has to store. O aquí, the boys have to store. They have to store the books. O they have to store the boxes. Allí, cuando usted tiene... Eh, cuando usted tiene store como verbo, le está, lo está funcionando, por ejemplo, si usted dice, hay store de boxes, miren, uh -huh. está como segundo después del sujeto, ya sabe qué verbo. Pero si usted dice, I work, el work es el verbo aquí. I work in a store. En ese caso, store en una tienda. Ajá. Entonces, cheque eh, en la posición de la palabra. En la oración le va a decir si está siendo usado como verbo o como noun. En este caso, vaya, por ejemplo, eh, water. Water también es un verbo. Uh -huh. Y también es agua. ¿verdad? Entonces, usted dice, I water the plants. I have to water the plants. Entonces, I water. Ya sabe que en este caso, water eh, no es agua, sino que es echar agua. I water the plants. Uy, me quedo bien. I water the plants. Sí. En este caso, water también es un verbo. What do mm -hmm. you have to do every day? I have to water the plants. Va, pero, pero, este, como me estaba diciendo en la primera, ¿verdad? Ajá. Después de... Sí, un, si de va un... después del sujeto, es verbo. Uh -huh. Si está después de una preposición, en este caso in, que estaría siendo usada como preposición de lugar, este es, es la tienda. Aquí significa almacenar y aquí significa tienda. Entonces ahí lo que va a ver usted es la posición de la palabra dentro de la oración para decidir si es el verbo almacenar o si es la tienda. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I need to go to the store. Su verbo ahí es go, ¿verdad? Y store es la tienda. Y, y esa misma oración para, para cambiarla en que no sea tienda. I need to go to the bank. I need to go to the... No, no, no. The, me refiero a la store. Ah, store. Ah. Eh, ahí ya ah, no. Ya no. Eh, ya no. No, ya no. Porque store es almacenar. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando usted vea que puede cambiar esa palabra por keep, que guardar, entonces uh -huh. podría decir, I keep the boxes. I have to keep the boxes, pero keep es solo guardarlas, es algo chiquito, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero si es algo que va a ir a llevarlo a la warehouse, ¿verdad? A la bodega, 
Entonces necesita almacenarlo, pero no lo va a sacar en dos días, sino que va a quedar ahí quién sabe cuánto. Ajá. Esa es la diferencia entre guardar y almacenar. Si es, por ejemplo, eh, una caja chiquita que fue a comprar un par de aritos, por ejemplo, y le dieron una cajita, entonces esa no va a decir usted, I'm going to, to, to store the box, sino que la va a ir a guardar. I need to keep. To keep. Ajá, porque es algo chiquito. Pero store... Mm. Es más que todo cuando lo ocupa en el contexto de una warehouse que va a almacenar porque es una cantidad grande. Por ejemplo, si usted en el invierno o en el, antes del invierno compra, por ejemplo, ahorita, me sale la cosecha de frijoles, uh -huh. you can buy a lot of beans and store them. Ajá, en ese caso sí. Yo store the beans. Mm -hmm. Porque los almacenan. No le van a durar una semana. Le van a durar meses. ¿verdad? El resto del año. Ah. En ese contexto es que usamos store. Si solamente guardar por un poco tiempo, guardar algo pequeño, no vamos a usar store, sino que vamos a usar keep. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sí. usted cheque. Si la palabra... Store la puede sustituir en la posición en que está por la palabra keep, es un verbo. Uh -huh. Pero si al cambiarla por la palabra keep le pierde totalmente la lógica, entonces no es verbo, entonces sería un, un la tienda, un now. Por ejemplo, si uh -huh. usted dice, I work in a keep, ah, no, no, ¿cómo? O sea, no, no me dice nada. Entonces uh -huh. no es. Pero I store the boxes. I keep the boxes. Ah, ok, sí. Entonces sí. ¿Verdad? I keep the, bo the boxes. No va con el contexto. Eh, ¿Cómo no? Pero depende. Porque usted depende de qué esté hablando. Sí, por ejemplo, usted puede ir a guardar las cajas. Las puede ir a guardar. Uh -huh. Pero las va a guardar por un poco tiempo. Pero cuando hablamos de store, por ejemplo, las empresas grandes que compran un montón de cosas y las almacenan. Por ejemplo, vaya ahorita, por decir algo, Dollar City, que tiene ya aquí en el país un montón de cosas almacenadas para sacarlas al solo empezar mayo. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. O probablemente al solo empezar abril. Sí. Son las cosas para el día de la madre. So, they have stored a lot of things. Que las tienen almacenadas. Están ahí guardadas, ¿verdad? Pero con el propósito de sacarlas en determinado momento. Pero pueden estar guardadas por mucho, ¿verdad? Y son muchas, ¿verdad? Exacto. Eh, ajá, es? Exacto. Es una cantidad grande y se guarda por un tiempo ¿Qué? largo. Uh -huh. Eso okay, es T-shirt. Ok, sí. T-shirt. Okay. Gracias, T-shirt. Claro, claro, ya sabe. Gracias, T-shirt. Sí, todo bien. Gracias. <risa> Ahí estamos, a la orden. Bueno, gracias, T-shirt. Bueno, y a gracias. Ver, voy a... <risa> a ver si me vuelve a tocar otro día en un tema que, que, que esté un poco más fuerte. Pues sí, pues sí. Claro. Ahí, sí. ahí se va a tener que ver usted cómo se ahí le vamos a dejar su espacio porque este ahí. Camilo no quiso ¿verdad? así que ahí le vamos a dejar ¿verdad? vaya, vaya pues, pues, sí. cuídese mucho gracias, gracias okay. bye bye, good night, good night.